what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are checking out gta 5 an ultra monitor of the resolution 3440 by 1440 using a 3080 ti and a 5900x and we are basically playing on maxed out settings i'm not a fan of fxaa so i've turned that off and left on msaa and everything else is pretty much maxed out reflection msaa a is times two you don't really need any more than that to be honest and with this graphics card i can finally max out everything in the advanced graphics tab and i am happy to report that this game runs very smoothly on this graphics card and setup i do have a curve optimizer turned on so i'll have a little I guess you could say undervolt and, and overclock at the same time going on. I will share those settings of the PBR2 settings using the Kermit Commander in the description down below so you guys can check it out. And um, it's netting me about. I don't know, I guess you could say like maybe 100 megahertz more performance. Um, before it was like 4.6. 4. Point, uh, sometimes fluctuating to 4.8 gigahertz on the CPU but now for the most part it's like 4.775, 4.75, uh, fluctuating to 4.85 and even 4.9 at times um, but as you guys may or may not know with Ryzen it is very temperature dependent and I'm using a Corsair H115i Pro, I believe it's called, to call, call it the Beastly 12 core CPU. But even so, you know, it's still going to run into 70 degrees, even, unless you like water cooling. But I have seen some people even water cooling, depending on what CPU heavy game they're playing, like GTA 5, it still reaches about 70. And they probably only get like 5 degrees more cooler than me and I've also got like six um, intake fans and uh, Corsair 120 ML ML 120 fans I think they are the RGB ones and then um, ML 140 fans I believe is what's on the Corsair H159 Pro I believe um, and they're used as exhaust so for the most part the system is staying pretty cool and then it's a Gigabyte OC model for the 3080i which is keeping the card very cool and letting it hit the peak of like 1980 MHz on the GPU clock which is cool and um, yeah I'm quite happy with the performance to be honest some people prefer to do a tra traditional overclock on the CPU and lock it at 4.7 but to be honest you're losing out on performance when you're doing a, a overclock like that. Ryzen just isn't built that way to be honest. Um, it's, it's a beast that can't be tamed and it's best to either leave it at PBO, the PBO version 1 settings by just literally going into the settings and enabling PBO as it is or better yet use a curve optimizer um, but to be honest the, the best setting probably is leaving it on PBO because then you get multi-core performance which is just out of this world to be honest considering what you can get for like 450 pounds if you're lucky uh, to get this processor for that price it is a beastly processor to be honest I mean if I wanted to I guess I could render my own Disney short story if I wanted to it is quite mad. What you can get for the money these days. Oh shit. And um, this is just a little test run that I like to perform to stress the CPU and get the most out of it, I believe. And for those of you, of you who are watching the GPU usage, this game is a bit of a weird one in the sense that depending on where you look, um, it might use 100% usage and then it might not. I'm guessing that's just how the game is optimised, how the game engine works. 
but I assure you I am getting max potential out of this PC no matter what those numbers might say and I will definitely put this PC to the test in just a moment as you'll see pull up here must say it is good to enable cheats I'll be grinding the anything. GTA Online to get what I want. Takes too long. Okay, clean you ask me. Just you ain't got time you for it. Me. He's not gonna give me what I want, so I'm just gonna take it. I do hate it when it bring, introduces black bars into ultra wide games, but oh well. It was only for a brief moment. As you can see. The performance is quite decent. For those of you who might be wanting to know, on normal uh, PBO, just PBO enabled without curve optimizer, um, I was getting like 4.6 on average. Let's see how the homie's gonna. Yeah, or they're gonna run away. Oh! Only one stage. Even if they are the ops. Still helping out. I guess this guy's the realest brawler after all. Okay, he's kind of You gonna take out any more for me? Any more? No? Is he dead? No, no, he's alive. Taking that quite a few. Surprisingly, he's still alive. I'm gonna be my shield. Okay, that didn't last too long. Okay, now you're just mostly shooting my car. I think getting five stars in this region of the game is a nice way to stress out the game and the CPU and the GPU. As you can see, it quickly increased to 70 degrees in no time. I think that's when I started the game, it was like that. 65. Wait, how do I get this? Let's use this. Okay, what? A boss? that I was quite disappointed with in this game is that there's no tanks that come after you when you reach the maximum level anyway. I guess that's the only thing I'm thankful for in terms of GTA Online is new weapons in the game. This is a mini AK. I think I've seen this before. You shoot me out.
<laughs> no way. Wait, what's this? What's in this book? Wait, what is this? No, wait, there's something I haven't. This. this. What's this? I don't know, I feel like I was sleeping. Reloading! You're going down! Is there an initial? Ooh, oh, what? Wait, isn't this from the last one down? I swear it's from the last one I stop. Back back high mind a bit. You covered. You won't be hung. I've got to reload. I love it when they start dragging off the other police officers to save them. to bring Massacre back on Grove Street. Oh, 
just flip off it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Whoa! That was a shot. Do you guys see that? Holy crap. I am on the way to the front of I'm quite impressed that at 72 degrees on the CPU, it is still hitting 4.7, 4.7 to 4.8 on certain cores. I am quite impressed. It's much better than stock performance. And like I told you guys, I will let you know in the description down below what exact cores I set to negative and what exactly the value was on each course so you guys can get an idea of uh, the kind of performance that maybe you can get if you have something like a b450 tomahawk motherboard that i have and you're considering to get 5900x and you don't really want to upgrade your whole platform just yet by default it does use a bit of electricity than you might want I mean, it does hit like 1.4 volts, but to be honest, it's a beastly processor. And if you want to hit those numbers, if you really want to get the most out of it, you're gonna wanna have to let it use those numbers. To be honest, there's uh, no two ways around it. To be honest. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And the the in terms of the um, graphics card, everything's on stock to be honest. And I was lucky to actually get one. Here in the UK, Scan luckily had one in stock. It was close to MSRP, and um, they bundled it with like a 5800X. And I was lucky to get it. Oh, my God, look at that shot! It was so devastating. You know what, for a game that's like seven years old, the visuals are still quite impressive and there isn't one open world game that has defeated de this game in seven years. How, how mad is that? Ponder on that one for a minute. Name me one open world game that is better than GTA 5. GTA 5 came out in 2013. It is, oh my God. It is uh, 2021. How mad is that? Not one game is better than this. You'd think that, you know, maybe Saints Row 5 would have capitalised on what went wrong with this game or something that could be improved, but not the case at all. No new contenders have gone, come by, no one's defeated this game, no one's come close to creating a, a open world such as this one. It's quite mad. And the fact that I was still getting 4.7, 4.8 on certain cores, even at 73 degrees, is quite mad. Uh, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I hope that gave you a wonderful insight into how this game performs on an ultra wide monitor the resolution 3440 by 1440 on a 5900X and a 3080i. And I do hope you guys get your hold on a graphics card very soon. Do let me know what games you want to see me benchmark that you want to perhaps uh, play on once you get your hold on the brand new graphics card. So I'll be happy to benchmark it as long as I got it in my library. Um, and it's a game that's out now. Do let me know in the comments below. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. Until next time, guys. Thank you for dropping by today. Peace out.